like they say, a uh, problem shared, shared, shared is yeah. half solved. So yeah. sometimes yeah. it's not actually half solved. Mm -hmm. I have seen very negative uh, criticisms on people asking for, genuinely asking for help mm -hmm. on media. And I feel like uh, our role as humans or our humanity in our human bodies is getting out. Mm -hmm. Because somebody comes to ask or seek help on media and all we can do is... Hey! Mm -hmm. I was actually reading one of uh, the, the news on, on, on Facebook and a lady had been in a relationship for three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then uh, somehow the gentleman cheated on her and then in three weeks, in three and weeks. then and then she went and destroyed his property, oh. and then in return, this guy went and beat her up and detoothed her. Ooh. Like two front teeth were all out, and then in one because I, I usually get I usually get to the comments section, and then people are like, oh she looks beautiful with <laughs> her smile like I love her courage mm. and the other one is like three weeks and you're already vandalizing property mm. I mean you you even deserved more ah. like me <laughs> like, oh, wow. like, mm. okay. where is the pain and that um, that okay. empathy yeah. that that used to be in people so uh Picking up from that, uh, how many of us have been to a, psychologi a psychology session, like you have a psychiatrist here, let's say a counseling session, how many of us have been in such a setup? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Personally. You have? I. <laughs> you too? Yeah. Wow. Uh -huh. uh, mm -hmm. Uh, first of all, I would like to say the psychologist did succeed as much. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't meet your expectations. Uh, I, I was a hard nut crackling. Mm -hmm. so. But I, I actually found something to go on with. And that, that, that was the greatest thing I achieved from that. I, I was like, on, it was in a crossroad. I was sick and sure what to do mm -hmm. with my life from that point. And my mother advised, actually, she looked for Aquanaza Konga about that stuff. Mm -hmm. So she looked for, she searched for psychologists around my home place and actually found one. To get that Konga, to come get to come get. Me, it's a good session in Kushanza to go to the story. Then, and then uh, she was like, thank you and have a nice day. I'm like, at <laughs> I saw another aspect of talking to people that I've never gone back since. Yeah, so. All right. <laughs> nice. I uh have -huh. because I'm, I'm I'm basing on that to be able to get to my to my next question. Yes. What your experience with? For my experience, yes. I've had different experiences. <laughs> I think the first time I saw a psychologist, mm. that must have been in high school in one of those. Um, I'm, I'm sponsored by, I was sponsored by Equity, so they used to give us psychologists to encourage us if mm. we have any problems and we just talk to them. So that was just on, let me just go and clear anything that I might have. Mm. But I think the most serious conversation I ever had was um, some lady and um, she did a good job of reminding me where the problem starts because mm. okay you know the thing with about mental health mm. is sometimes you're disturbed about something maybe for example kevin shouted at me in school and it disturbs me and it depresses me but that's not where my problem started mm. <laughs> well, it is a projection yes yeah. it's a projection it started a long long time ago so yeah, so we figured out where the problem started. And you were able and to solve it. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> we feel, we, we, I, I, well, it's a good starting point. Yeah. Uh, we had, like, I think, two sessions. We were supposed to have five. And then, <laughs> I don't know, she, it, she disappeared or something happened. <laughs> <laughs> but at least it's a good starting point. Because now I know if I'm going through this, it's a projection. So I should deal with it from behind behind all right so uh, um the rest of us that have not gone to uh to a psychologist or mm -hmm. been in that session is it that we, we do not have any problems mental <laughs> problems <laughs> or could there be hindrances that uh, are not leading us there 
I guess we we should be ourselves. Mm-hmm. Um, you're like, I'm just stressed, I'm not depressed. Mm-hmm. It's not that too serious, it's not too serious. Mm-hmm. I don't need to go see a psychiatrist. And then probably if talking to your parents might be an issue, you don't know how to bring about that topic. As you say, most times we go through things that our parents have no idea, idea. about. So you don't know how to bring about that topic. And you don't know what your parents would have to say. So I think most of us resort to keeping quiet about it. Mm. And Swallowing, stomaching yeah. it. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Do you have it? Yeah, I think uh, <clears throat> I'll say in this age, like your psychiatrist is just your best friend. Like you go and just tell your best friend, maybe I have this and this problem. Yeah. Like I have a friend, though he's not in Kenya, but I, I, I share with him a lot because we, we have the same history. Yeah, so uh, I, I don't see a need to see a psychiatrist. Yeah, because you have yeah. a friend that you can confide in with yes. everything that hurts you. Exactly. Your, your take on that? <clears throat> um, personally, I'd love to see a, a, a psychologist. Mm. Not for <laughs> any particular reason, but just, you know, <laughs> so how, would it, yeah, to experience how it would feel yeah. like, like yeah. curiosity in, in, the, in the whole issue. Yeah. I, I have moved around to some uh, few uh, places that uh, counseling sessions are offered. Mm-hmm. And usually what scares me off is the rates. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. She's also hard. <laughs> I'm like, hey, I'm just going to come and sit and then talk. Talk, to we you talk. And you listen. <laughs> and, you <laughs> and you listen. <laughs> and you listen. Because, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> when I was studying in uh, psychiatry, uh, we were told as a counselor, when you're counseling somebody, mm-hmm. you're not supposed to give them your opinion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You just listen, mm-hmm. give them the options, mm-hmm. leave the choice to them mm-hmm. for them to be able to decide. Mm-hmm. Make sure that in your talk, they are able to realize where they are. Mm-hmm. Now I'm thinking, okay, I have this little knowledge about that, mm-hmm. but then whenever I step there and look at their <laughs> pants, <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking how possible <laughs> is it for everybody to Before. afford mm-hmm. a session? Mm-hmm. Because you see, Leaving alone the fact that we think um, uh, mental health issues are for the whites, yeah, mm-hmm. and the elders, you know, yeah. like some some of us have that notion of yeah. Africans. Yeah, we are strong muscle. We do not get these things. Mm. White people problems. Yes. <laughs> and then when it comes to now the fact that because usually um, I don't know, maybe it's different with you. In most cases, when we are looking for a doctor, it's not when we are well. Mm. I don't know how many times we've gone for checkups when we are extremely feeling the best <laughs> that day. No, it has but, to be. But that is the, that is the culture yeah. that we have as Africans. Uh, even medics in us do that, you know? <laughs> like, you're okay with, with going when you are feeling the worst. Yeah. And then I'm imagining a person who is having suicidal so- thoughts, mm-hmm. reaching there and seeing a session of 30 minutes for 3,500. Mm-hmm. And they only had, they had one, one of the things that is leading them there, they have not eaten for four weeks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, Probably they came by foot because they had there is a there is a place. Do you feel that that could be one of the reasons as to why we are having more of the mental health cases in our country? Yes, absolutely. I honestly feel like that will even be part of the stress. Yeah, because <laughs> you're thinking how expensive it is to to go. You know your. Okay, for for my case, nilikuwa na nili visit psychiatrist wa bure. I think that's why after sometimes she did not feel obligated. Mm-hmm. And you know, if you if you realize you have a problem, and you know your apart from the depression itself, your problem is not a problem because you keep thinking, I have a problem. How will I solve it? I have a problem. I have a problem. And then you think about telling your parents, no, white people things. <laughs> 
or I'm paying your school fees, what are you stressed about? You think about telling your friends, no, this is too deep to share. Yeah. Uh, or they won't relate. They won't relate. It probably be a story, or maybe you don't even feel like you can trust them. anybody. Yeah. You can trust anybody. And then I think about going to a counselor with your pocket. Not that becomes stress because you cannot manage. Mm-hmm. I think I've watched a video where someone had started, you know, even if you you, you press it, press it, press it, mm-hmm. the, there's a time you just feel like, ah, now let me go and visit a psychiatrist. And you check out that three thousand, you'll go. But what's for the first session, what about the next one and the next one? Because mental health is not like counseling or motivation. Right. Someone will come and give you a speech and you change your life whatever. <laughs> you need to it needs Yes. And gradual. So what happens after the first session? Wow. <laughs> so it leaves you worse. Mm. Um, do you always feel better after talking to somebody about your problems? Or do you always get uh, how will this person look at me or how are they viewing me whenever you share problems to your friends? I think I have something. Uh, before you share your problems to your friends, you look at this person. As in, you know this person very well because most of the things you share are very, 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 very personal things. And before you share them, hey, there's, there's this some trust. There is something you like there's a bond that nothing, even the most, okay, but there's that, it can't change. Yeah, most of them, okay, I have friends who will probably laugh about it, then you like move on and tell me, okay, tell me, you're doing something stupid, stop it. Evil too, as simple as that. But we like back to normal immediately. So you choose the audience you want to air your uh, that, that laundry to, yeah. And it, it won't be everybody. It definitely would be able to do. When you not answer, to judge the instant. And that, hey, will send you spiraling down very quickly. Mm-hmm. I feel like most of us that have gone through that, uh, that period, maybe talking for the many that are out there, mm-hmm. that we do not really get to get the right people to share our problems to. And uh, at the end result leads us to even exacerbating the problem that was already there and you go from up down here and you find yourself in now enough of the mental <laughs> uh, talking matters relationships uh, I, <laughs> I don't know why all of you are taking a deep side the ladies especially <laughs> Talking about his relationships, um, do you do you feel that is um, that is a particular format in which uh, a relationship should go, especially relating as youth, Christian youths? Do you think that there is a particular format that a Christian youth should follow in terms of relationships? I wouldn't say okay. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't say there's a format, but the general principles uh-huh. mm-hmm. for Christian youth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But every relationship takes its own form and shape. There's no general format, but there are general principles. Yeah, so I'd say. Okay. So what are these general principles? <laughs> <laughs> what are these general principles? <laughs> I think it's it narrows down to an mostly it narrows down to an individual, but with a greater thing, Christ. So in whatever principle you have, Christ must be set in it. Uh, in like some other, I can't even have an example right at the moment. But I think uh, see general in the way, but narrows down to you. Who are you? Who because the one you relate with. In a relationship, maybe it's special. Uh, many people, it, the one you relate with is like, say, uh, uh, is he or she is in your so- social circle? Mm-hmm. So that, compa- uh, to get, uh, if anything goes wrong, okay, she's the she or she is the first one to know. So, you know and if anything goes extremely well, she or she is the first one to know. So it 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 doesn't require 
Okay. You know, person, person that you have learned. Yeah. Unazo, unafaka yeah. I put it like that way. Okay. Yeah. General principles. I would say, uh, this is like a textbook answer. You mm-hmm. get me. Whenever you go to church, do not be unequally yoked yeah. with unbelievers. Like, um, in as much as we throw we throw that line around a lot, mm-hmm. um, it's true. Like. You can't really relate with someone who does not tally with your exactly beliefs. with your beliefs because there'll always be a point of friction. It will be an issue. Even if Mulianza Mkiambiana, ah Mimi by the way, it's an issue. You do what you do, I do what I do. So yeah, that's a general principle. What's your take on preach, convert and murder? You know, there is there is um, we have PCM in our church mm-hmm. and then um, when when it comes to the youth we have converted to preach, convert and marry. PCM. What is your take on that? <laughs> Tell them about Christ. But it is not your work to convert yeah. anyone so that you marry them. <laughs> you are not the Holy mm-hmm. Spirit. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Heavy. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> your topic. Nanibuza on a personal yeah, like like those are baby ones. I <laughs> tell us. <laughs> yeah, it was all politics in one. Yeah, ni kasa wa true. Who you? Yeah, ni aki. The only thing is me. I can go not waste time. <laughs> yeah, but then um, coming to look at the bigger picture, you see in music, kuna kitu ni kwa harmonics. Harmonics, this is. This is the relation of frequencies. Like, if you go and play a piano, a certain note, a wind in a vibrate. I've seen people doing that in a cup of water, in a burst. So they play, they play a frequency that vibrates that, and you make sure you're consistent, adding in a break. So you'll find out that if you go with, if, if you compromise that small, like, that small space. Apo ni nakuanga na free. Sasa iyo ni kama ni harmonics wa mipeleka marriage. So every time you'll be in marriage, you'll be vibrating that, that until it will burst. So for the sake of uh, your kids in future not being raised with a single mother <laughs> and also the pain of being alone uh, in the age of 40s, yeah, you should just uh, just uh, do what the Bible says and uh, do not do that. But however, you can preach and convert, uh, but it's equal motive. Like on a preach and a convert, if things happen, it's <laughs> if it okay. Doesn't, if it doesn't, well, I do yeah. Okay. <laughs> what are some of the challenges you have faced growing up as a Christian? <laughs> Matters relationships or generally. Okay. I think it's for me it um, there's too much perfection. <laughs> mm-hmm. Talk about <laughs> practical Christianity. Yes. It's it's not really we're not seeing the 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 child in quite grow a bit of it. Yeah. Like everything is Nikana textbook. Like people are living in perfect world, the ideal situation, but it's, it's not ideal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So when people deal with these things, all these things that we've talked about, all these relationships kwa grow, all this depression kwa grow, there's no one talking about it in church. People are just, oh Christ said, okay, it's good. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> in fact, there's even something that really annoys me. Uh, it's a good answer, but it annoys me. If someone is depressed and then you tell them, have you prayed? <laughs> Have you prayed? Do you think I've not prayed? <laughs> Do you think I've not talked to my God? But I'm depressed. <laughs> I'm depressed. Maybe I'm not doing it right. But everyone seems to be 
not being real. Mm. Not like they're having a conversation of Job and his friends. Mm. Yes, <laughs> and and now that becomes difficult for a, a, um, a Christian to go through the struggles of life because it looks like everyone else yeah. passed, everyone else exactly. passed, and then you're the only one who is yeah. being left. Yes, Become and but that's not real. But if you know, if if I know that Elaine one time also struggled with waking up and going to church. Mm. Then I'll know, okay, first of all, one, I'm not abnormal. Now, Elaine, how did you go? Yes. How did you deal with Overcome this? Overcome that. Yes. Then she'll tell me, she'll give me tips, and then we'll be able to help each other. But then if Elaine is telling me, have you prayed? Okay, praying is good. Pray. <laughs> judging you. Why did you come to church late? Yeah. <laughs> how do you not go to church? church are you? Yeah. How? Yes. <laughs> On a day you have actually not gone. Mm-hmm. How, yeah. did, how did you not come to church? Yes. <laughs> Living the perfection <laughs> yes. of a Christian youth. Mm-hmm. Has growing up as a Christian youth made you feel like you're growing faster than your age? To some extent, yes. Yes. On the same point, on the same point. Okay, um, I have I have friends who are who are biblically oriented. Okay, and uh, you'll find always these people will be single. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why? (laughs) Because if they go to church, okay, they see beautiful ladies. But I'm going to say that. 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 I'm going to say Rangi kwa mdu kwa kidori. Mazana. A high heels ya two inch. Something. Okay, you'll always find something. Yeah. And if you if you not find something in the physical, you'll find something in the spiritual. So it's, yeah, it's something that um, it's it's so like it's a problem. It's a problem because. If you find even uh, a lady looking for this perfect man, uh, you'll find others who are presentably perfect in the physical because basically men are on is easy to be in the So, but then who is this man in the inside? Because I believe knowing someone in the inside, it's, it's almost beyond human power. Though people say that if you stay with someone for a long time, you will get to know, to know. I can assure you, <laughs> many people have stayed with me, but they they, they don't know. Me. <laughs> yeah, they, they really don't know. Me. So yeah, it's it's something to be discussed in church. <laughs> yeah, so that uh, uh, these people will not stay single for <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, people are looking for perfection. Yeah, perfection. Yeah, perfection. Yeah. Perfection. yeah. Mm. Because I think it's, it's just around the same thing. Because we have been tuned to yes. look for perfection. Yes, and to think we're supposed to be perfect. Perfect mm. as, as well. Mm. All right. Do you ever find a problem identifying yourself as a Christian youth to your peers who are of different faith? Personally, no. <laughs> Yeah. Do you ever find any problem identifying yourself like I'm an Adventist when you meet friends that are not? Oh, uh, okay. Uh, the problem with me answering that question <laughs> is because people always know even before. <laughs> before I tell them, yeah, they, 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 they already know. And if it's a new person, probably, uh, okay, if if it comes to a point where I need to identify myself as an Adventist, then I'll have. But I don't, I don't meet someone then in the part of my introduction, I introduce myself as an Adventist. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I make them, uh, okay, you see, if you introduce yourself as an Adventist, there is a perception someone has about Adventist. So he does not see you as Kevin. He sees you in the lenses of Adventism, mm-hmm. the way he relates. Mm-hmm. Because at some point, I was staying with some people and people really loved me until someone knew that I'm an Adventist. Say, what? Adventist? You mean you're an Adventist? 
because this person knew Adventists, these are people to kienda hivi tukikula anasema the book of Corinthians <laughs> Because we are playing football and as mama uliona ile quote okay this time for everything i i believe as much as the gospel is to be preached at least preach it in in a convenient space see it tukifanya kitu yote you insert your knowledge for for an opinion to insert your knowledge in the bible yeah i have something short uh i think it doesn't it narrows down to who you are as a person because you preach by works not by you. Mm-hmm. so uh personally me uh, i'm not available from day to day till sunday it's always like that so if you're a person close to me you know that so i think the new people in the world as well they they maybe they don't know and i kind of they kind of have to like find out for themselves um actually yeah i'm a christian i'm an adventist and whatever you have i think some people are actually surprised sometimes in Jimbona i don't engage with people so much but with the few people i engage with they kind of sijui kama nanga or something they they know uh when not to ask some things no when to not to when as in some and they just you know mm-hmm. not using in a yeah obvious yeah, that they will get to know yeah. i think all right <laughs> i don't still have to say that Uh, as an adventist growing up adventist uh, we also keep our circles and the adventist mm-hmm. there's a way in which ah you just notice just mingling and mixing up with people who are not adventist there's a way in which your priorities are so different what your uh, the way you look at things is so different so uh, many a times it might not really be a struggle because you'll find your circle of friends are adventist So um I was saying mm-hmm. for me I feel identifying with uh, being an adventist it's a safe space for me <laughs> itself because I do not like arguing I do not like having to you, you know to lover. debate yeah I, I love peace I love peace <laughs> Are you sure Are you sure <laughs> Well there's some things you know the adventism have um there's some lines which are really just different mm. and it's usually lines that uh, non adventists like to pick on mm. so that now we start arguing mm. <laughs> about it um or they they put you to the test things like that um so in, when I'm when I don't identify as an adventist then I have to start explaining a lot of things why am I not doing this with you why am I not showing up mm. but if I say I'm an adventist someone already knows how to deal with me they know what conversation not to get into they know how to interact with me they like boundaries asset asset wow. and it's safe for me me i feel <laughs> i feel safe <laughs> yeah so um the very last question uh for this shot uh what are some of the hindrances that you have met uh for your spiritual growth in our church Pardon? the sum of the hindrances to spiritual growth that you have met in our church or you have seen witnessed people go through like go first um we had talked about this the standards are quite high oh yeah <laughs> and once you see the standards are quite high you know those but to me she is so big quoting you know the quote every verse and they want you to be perfect perfect yes perfect so when you look at that and you look at what you actually are you like the sun is too high for me so it keeps no, don't even try mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. i feel mm-hmm. in addition to that um apart from the standards being too high there's some things that are considered greater than others you see we are all different and we all bring different gifts and different different talents to the table mm. so there's the mtumishi who's coming to preach and to teach other people i am coming to sing like my ministry is through song but i feel like i'm not really doing enough for my lord because everyone else looks at the mtumishi and they feel like you can do amefika you know what yeah that's where you're supposed to be yeah that's that's what you should, everyone should, should be do. doing mm. but we all we fail to see that 
we are all different and, and we and actually the bible actually says yeah. that one is gifted to preach mm-hmm. one is gifted to correct exactly and all stuff like that mm-hmm. i think uh, to that person i remember somewhere uh, okay i'm i'm one of the people whom an adventist uh, like posing questions because uh, first of all uh, i'm always an extrovert so they will find it easier to ask me a question without me getting offended so when they ask me a question and we we have we have set a debate and i really love a game <laughs> don't like peace uh, okay i love peace but uh, in a uh, violent way <laughs> I really love something that uh, that um, sparks. Yeah, yeah, that brings of opinions. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, sometimes I might find a place where I'm asked a question, but then okay, I know the answer, but because I'm not this guy who is a mutumishi who oh. can quote, quote all the verses, mm, mm-hmm. I decide maybe today they even let me call someone. Just, just to to enlighten me on what this book say. Mm-hmm. Then after calling this guy, <laughs> he tells you, my brother, I need you to go and check this book. <laughs> I need you to <laughs> to read the Bible and read the SOP. Mm-hmm. So you'll find out that not everyone. Okay, I have read that part, I've heard someone preaching about that part. And you but actually I, know it. Yes, I do know it. I just need you to refer me to where it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it, it becomes a very big problem. Another hindrance that, uh, that um, affects the spiritual growth in Adventism today uh, is, is basically Ochanite uh, Masengen. You'll find out that uh, uh, there's, a lot, gossip. of, there's yes. a lot of gossiping in church. Yeah, in a way that mtu anasema hata kumbe huyu anafanya na hivi na anakwamba na hapo hivyo. So, uh, is and judgment. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. I always believe if you have something like that, uh, probably if you need to to uh, uh, to enlighten that person, then you need to you need to to have a goal of maybe changing that person. Mm-hmm. But then talking behind the curtains, do you know issue? I actually yeah. feel like that is the biggest challenge that it's up, especially the youths. All right, so you had something to say. Yeah, uh, spiritual growth. When you talk about growing, uh, you have like some somebody to like, us, you see, we had our parents to look up to and the grown-ups. So when it comes to the church, I feel like uh, the youth have been neglected in so much a way like Kuna, you're supposed to do something yes but you need that guiding hand like uh, Moses did with Joshua Elijah, Elijah did with Elisha I think that is the missing link to spiritual growth in every setting there must be evidence and as the youth we tend to like go away from the main point so I think like if there is that guidance and counseling on some trivial matter with love and passion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not judging. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's, just, there's a very big difference. People tend to like, yeah. Without judging, uh, growing in the spiritual growth will not be a challenge. All right. Then to our last question. Um, of course, as we shift to the, the, the last question, I want us to talk about currently in, in our country, Kenya, um, there is a bottom bottom up <laughs> bottom up bottom up <laughs> because <laughs> bottom up economy yeah. that is uh, progressing to helping the youth and putting them on top. You know, mm-hmm. what is your take on? Uh, or do you feel that these politicians actually have our interests at heart, mm-hmm. or uh, it, is it just a bluff that they are trying to pose and? Do you actually think that they actually have our interests as the youth at heart? Um, okay, the Kenyan politics uh, is is so tricky because uh, these are the same people that have been in power. The, we are not going to give them power for the first time. The people who have been in power and they have proven not to be so 
uh, youth friendly. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, they have, they have proven that. So actually, this is just something to 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 tell people that will will sweeten them. In politics, they say, do not say what people don't want to hear. Just say what people want to hear. Then you'll be voted in. And like right now in the politics in school, people are just saying that we will, <laughs> we will I want to make road, and it is just wants to make uh, atomic road, yeah, yeah, which is impossible. So uh, I feel that uh, uh, politics in Kenya is 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 a scam. <laughs> politics in Kenya is a scam. We have. Uh, if, if I'm supposed to look for leaders in Kenya, then I'll really have to do a research that will take more than five years. Just to <laughs> point out to the true leaders. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I was signaling you, we have seven minutes. Oh, seven wow. minutes. Okay. So are we are going from that, or any of you had something to throw in. <laughs> yeah, I actually have something to throw in. So we have politicians here on this. Um, <laughs> politics in Kenya is a business. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So we can actually yeah. invest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you really can invest by yeah. assisting us wherever they are to get to the operation, then you can get your dividends later. That I assure you. But <laughs> the main thing I want the main my main point here is like the bottom up economy is very good. In fact, it's a very brilliant idea, but it's a bait. They want to cut the fish. Bait. And when they cut the fish, you'll just hear, okay, they, they say this position is for the youth, then the youngest person they'll appoint is 50 years old. <laughs> 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 this is what we're going to be part of. Being a youth is relative. Yeah. 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 just a number. <laughs> Yes, someone was saying in the social media, mm. Baba is a small boy. Baro, baro. So, uh, our very last one. Mm -hmm. um, what are your do's and don'ts in a relationship? <laughs> yes. <laughs> do's and don'ts. Do's and don'ts. Should I start off? Yes. <laughs> do's. Mm. Understand. Mm. Wait. Love, love. <laughs> Let me only come to the part of love first. If you understand that person, you love them greatly. Don't judge. Oh, I like, I like your answers. <laughs> you know what? You, you should like get to know. You know humans are not perfect. Yeah. Mm. When you start judging, yeah, that comes to that spirals down to the nini, to the mental health aspect and all that. And we all want what I like. People start having suicidal thoughts and all that because that that is good. <laughs> <laughs> and when you have your most loving person judge you, it no, becomes worse. It's the worst thing. Over to you, Felicia. <laughs> I go with the shine. Shine. <laughs> Love. Be patient. Be caring. Be kind. Mm. Yes. Be understanding, as I said. Generally, all the good fruits of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> yeah. mm, yeah. Don't, don't. Someone else. Mm. <laughs> yes. All right. Don't. Over to you. Oh, I couldn't add. Sheesh. Everybody is going to give us the short of this. Elaine, you want to say something? For, um, <laughs> let, me, let me say something that we've been told over and over again, but we refuse to do say. <laughs> do not give too much. <laughs> too soon. Mm. One. Two. And do not. Do not do not actually invest until you're married. <laughs> until you're married. I feel I feel like we have been we have we have been heartbroken so many times because you give too much expectations, um your time, your love, because I love love is one that hurts most because you cannot believe that you selflessly loved yes. someone and then they took advantage of but you. But is there something like you love partially, like love 50-50 right. and then upgrade? It's the way to be loved. Well, it's not scissors to be loved. Okay, in terms of a relationship, okay, I love I love these two gentlemen. <laughs> but not to the point of, if they leave me today, I'm going to die. <laughs> and I feel like at, at this point, 
that is something I shall reserve for the day I shall be asked. <laughs> Will you marry me? <laughs> because before that, you'll keep I, keep, I feel like my feelings now are too precious. You'll keep prostituting them from person to person. Hapa, inakuwa, inabunjwa. Hala, prostituting them. <laughs> Because you give you give your heart to someone, they break it, and then <laughs> then you collect the pieces. You collect the pieces. You put salt. You give someone. Reka bizuri tena. You give someone else. They get broken again. What are you doing to yourself? Yeah. May I feel like uh, no. You cannot just give everyone your love. Mm. Okay. Over to you. <laughs> and don'ts of our relationships, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we are talking about right now. <laughs> <laughs> to be very honest, um, I would love to give you a list of do's and don'ts. Mm. But personally, it's not a space I am in right now. Like me, I'm just like, I'm living life. That is not an active part of my life. So. <laughs> You're skipping and passing Yes. It. Okay. Yeah. Kevin. Kevin. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Me, I'm one person who I love giving my body in something. Uh, like for example, if I decide to be in a relationship today, uh, in short, I've already told you I'm not in one. <laughs> but like that person will be everything. Like he will be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I always give my own like anything I love I do it wholeheartedly. Oh yeah. Like even me choosing doing music as a career just because I love music. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right now I'm developing my love for politics and I'm trying to do something. So so in in a relationship I love to give my own until social media did something. <laughs> because uh, I've been watching something called Learn to Test. It has really discouraged me by the from, from loving fully. But okay, not from loving fully. Mm -hmm. But uh, I feel there's a lot of trust issues because if you love someone fully, then you trust them fully. Mm -hmm. You see. But then I've seen that hey. outside here. <laughs> but yeah, I would love to interject. Me, I just, I, I just want to pray that God will give a replica of me. Amen. Yeah. Amen. That is what I just pray. On but his point here, on social media, yeah. uh, I think uh, cheating husbands and cheating boyfriends has been glorified too much. Mm -hmm. That we even fail to look at on the good side. Yeah. So that you fail to look on the good side. Yeah, sure. Like the good side of, 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 of cheating. Husbands who don't yeah. cheat. Oh. Boyfriends who are faithful. Okay, they don't also record. Yeah. The, the beautiful. The good part. ones. Yeah, exactly. because they do and not that is why. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Be, that is why people look at relationships as something that is damaged toxic and, and toxic, toxic yeah. and negative. Yeah. But it's because I think the number of men who are true are greater than those who cheat. But because you glorified the ones who cheat, mm -hmm. that's so they become yeah. famous. Yeah. Wow. Thank you so much for joining us today, and we are so glad that you tuned in today. And see you on our next episode. Remember to call a friend so that you can also be edified. Till next time, let's say bye. bye.